after the last 24 hours, a lot of people are very anxious to hear what the candidates have to say during that debate. The Reverend Al Sharpton is one of them. He's in the Tri-State tonight, and Local 12 Sydney Benter asked him about Trump's comments in that video and whether he thinks the American people will accept his apology. Sydney. And Jeanette, as a man of faith, Sharpton says he can forgive, but he wonders if voters will forget when it comes time to head to the polls. Sharpton is in town for the Greater Cincinnati chapter of the National Action Network's Equity and Justice Awards Banquet. Bishop Bobby Hilton is the president of the local chapter, and they welcome Sharpton to Hilton's church in Forest Park tonight. Before Sharpton offered the keynote speech, he visited with local members. A lot of people wanted to have their picture taken alongside the civil rights activists. Never one to shy away from weighing in on issues of justice and equality. We asked him what he thinks about Trump's comments in that video from 2005. The thing that's most disturbing to me about Mr. Trump was he knew he was in a setting that there were open microphones. So it wasn't like somebody was eavesdropping on a private moment. He didn't care. And the question is whether you can have someone with that kind, with those kind of values, become the head of the free world. Now, I also asked Sharpton about the upcoming Ray Tenzing trial and whether he thinks the University of Cincinnati has taken the necessary steps following a comprehensive review of the department. He says it's important not to just pat each other on the back for starting a dialogue, but to enact substantive change. He says that's what Bishop Hilton and the chapter here are doing. Anjanette? Well, thank you, Sydney. Well, now